YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video and today's video as you can see from the title is another crochet hair review video and today's crochet hair as you also saw from the title is the Shake and Go Naked Crochet 100% human hair prelude type it is in the style loose deep it is 16 inches and it is in the color natural now if you're not familiar with my crochet hair series first of all smash that subscribe button so you can become part of the family but this is how they work this is not an install video although i have one for this hair this is me coming on here first with my first day thought of a crochet hair showing you how it looks literally the day i install it or the day after i install the hair showing you how it overall looks if you do not Nothing to the hair what my braid pattern with the hair was was it a long install was it a hard install did I have to knot the hair several times how did I make the hair look as realistic as possible and overall what my first day thoughts of the hair are then I come on here with my first week thoughts of a crochet hair show you how it looks one week in telling you whether it has gone uphill or downhill and only a matter of a week coming on here and showing you what my maintenance routine has been like with the hair over the course of the week and then I come on here whether it's been four weeks five weeks six weeks seven weeks with a hair I show you how it looks on the final day meaning the day I'm about to take that hair out I come on here and present to you guys my final day thought of a crochet hair showing you how it looks on that literal last day telling you whether it has completely gone downhill over the course of the week or whether I truly recommend the Hair, telling you whether it's water friendly active wear friendly and all that if that sounds like something you will enjoy make sure you check down below if you want to see time stamps of the thoughts of my first day first week or final thoughts but if you're somebody who wants to watch the progression of the hair keep watching to see my first day thoughts on this naked crochet hair a few moments later so now coming on here for my first day thoughts on this shake and go naked crochet human hair loose deep 16 inches hair now shake and go reached out to me in April of this year as I'm recording this is October April of this year saying that they wanted to send me one of their newest hairs that they were coming out with it was human hair would I be interested I said absolutely go ahead and send away and they said all right we'll send it right away and then May hit and then June hit and then July hit and then August hit and then September hit and they said you know what we're gonna go ahead and send it we are ready to launch the hair although you're gonna get it early October we will not be releasing this hair until October 31st so I do not have the full price of what this hair is now by the time I'm ready to upload this video it will have been released so I will link down below where you can buy the hair and how much it costs but right now as I'm literally sitting here I do not fully know but I've always been skeptical of human hair if you follow me for a while I posted a video about a year and a half ago almost probably two years ago where I asked you guys are you interested in seeing human hair on this channel you guys know I go hard for my synthetic hair but sometimes I always have questioned is human hair worth it is it worth the price tag because the last hair I tried $5.99 $6.99 a pack and I wore that for seven weeks now this hair, human hair, uh, which of course comes with that higher price tag, uh, we don't know. So although Shake and Go sent me this hair, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys, as I do in all my videos. I'm not coming on here sugarcoating saying this is the best thing ever. I'm coming in here right now saying I have skepticism about this hair. Now one of the skepticisms is coming from the installers here. I will link my install video up above, but I will briefly touch on it right now. I have about 15 braids going straight back. You guys know I'm never a big fan of a lot of braids but with this hair I wanted it to be smaller more concise braids just because this hair I knew I didn't want it to look bulky it's a human hair I just wanted to lay very flat and I wanted the braids to be as close together as possible so that's why I kind of have that braid pattern going on now I did use six packs of this hair shake and go sent me eight I used six of those really about five and a half I was really playing around with that last pack because I really wanted my hair to look super realistic now the thing about this hair now I was holding up a package that I hadn't opened but this is the six pack that I kind of used half of this is how the hair comes you guys can see this is the knot this is the knot this this is at the knot for every single hair if you read the back it is a pre-loop type elastic band the elastic band that expands and retracts for easy crocheting elastic band secures hold to prevent slippage that's why they have this so they say the thing about human hair is if you installed it without the band, it would slip. 
it's slippage. A lot of people say, I wanna try a soft hair, I wanna try a human hair. Why don't you try more human hairs on there? It's because of the slippage, as well as the fact that I'm somebody who doesn't want this to show. For some people, they don't care. They don't care that this is gonna show on their knots. That's not my thing. If you watch my crochet encyclopedia video, you guys know a realisticness is what I come with with my crochet hair. I do not want it to look like crochet hair. Although it is crochet hair, don't want it to look like that. I want to fool people. And with this, how you gonna fool somebody? So I went through the ringers with the install of this hair. I tried my best to make it realistic and I'm getting up in camera. As you can see, this side is probably my most realistic side. Therefore, this is the side that I will probably be wearing my part on the most times. Now this side, as you guys can see, I don't know what it looks like to you guys. You guys might be like, it looks all right to me. To me, it's just, you still can see the elastic just a little bit and that's not what I like. I will do a 360 so you guys can kind of see how the hair looks. Again, I have not cut this hair. This is filmed on the literal same day I installed the hair. So got done installing the hair about 20 minutes ago and now I am here. So my install video, wearing the same clothes because literally it's the same day. The realisticness with these knots, you're gonna have to try hard. In my install video, I heavily reference Beauty Can Braid. She is somebody I look up to for her installs because she does a phenomenal job. Now my install video, I'm already gonna say it. it's not me doing a phenomenal job, but Beauty Can Braid has has the camera up she's installing the hair on a model it's hard to be the camera woman the model and the installer it, it just doesn't work well so when I went off camera I tried a little bit more really didn't do that much of a better job to making it look realistic but again you're gonna have to do a lot of work so that install again would rank as my worst probably install my not funnest because I've never had a situation where I had to you know work with a band now this being human hair of course you can flat iron you can color it if you want to you can do many of things with this hair so I'm excited to see that as of this first day and as of recording this first day thought I haven't done anything to this hair I have not put any product in this hair it is a natural color again I do not know much more about this hair than shake and go has told me again they have been pushing this hair or been in the process of launching this hair for seven months all I know as of now is that they have this hair only in a color natural as I see so I have it in the color natural I don't know what that means typically natural means about a 1b2 type of a vibe and that's what it is really it looks really dark on camera but it is in person if you were to see it about a 1b type of a shade so this is what it is giving you first day how can I not like it but I do not feel like I'm gonna have the versatility that I have in a lot of hairs because in a lot of my spaces my elastic knots are showing so it might be a time where I wear my hair in one side which if you follow me I typically do love a left side part I'm keeping it real I always wear my left side parts and I always wear them well in my opinion but we will see how I am able to wear this hair and what I decide to do with this hair and if I put more packs in this hair during my first week thoughts coming up right now one week later so now coming on here for my first week thoughts on this shake and go naked human hair crochet in the style loose deep now if you're familiar with my crochet hair series hey welcome 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 you already know the deal but typically on my first week i come on here and talk about my overall first week thoughts and my maintenance with this hair but i am going to touch on a few things i forgot to mention during my first day thoughts and first of all i forgot to mention that shake and go also sent me this Saga Naked Brazilian Virgin Hair Human Hair Lace Closure. Now they sent me this and I didn't know whether this was just for me to have or was it for me to use with this. Now I don't think it was for me to use with this. I'm hoping it wasn't for me to use with this but I just wanted to gauge you guys out there. If you guys out there do typically wear human hair crochet or do you guys use a closure with it? For me I'm not a good closure wearer just in general. I don't get the whole bleaching and knots thing. I, I'm not a wig wearer. If you watch my channel, you guys know I'm not a wig. I'm a wig wearer, but I'm not a wig maker. So I'm not a big fan or big user of lace closures. Even back in my sewing days, I wasn't wearing lace closures like that. I just did a partial where I would have some of my hair left out. So I don't know my way around a lace closure like I should. But I didn't use this and I just wanted to gauge you guys out there to see. Do you guys think I should have? For me, I don't think I should have just because I know a lot of you guys wear crochet hair and you guys want to know how the crochet hair itself will hold up. You guys don't want a two-step process where you got to apply a lace closure, then apply the crochet hair. To me, the 
that seems a little crazy so i think she can go for sending me this but again maybe it's for future uses or future things but i don't think it was for this but i just wanted to address that if you guys are out there watching like girl why you didn't apply lace closure now this is what the hair looks like one week in just kind of want to give you guys an overall view of this hair. Another thing I forgot to mention in that first day thoughts is the smell of this hair. Um, it does smell like bundles to me. If you guys ever have worn bundles or know the bundle smell, like you guys know what I'm talking about. Bundles have a, you know, a unique smell. It's nothing that I can like even explain to you guys. It just smells like human hair bundles to me which it should smell like I'm assuming if it is human hair and it is human hair so it does have that smell to it it is not a turn off smell to me it's just a smell I wanted you guys to be aware of if you got this hair and you were like she didn't even talk about the overwhelming human hair smell that comes off of it it does have that human hair so I just bought bundles off of AliExpress or you anywhere you buy bundles at it has that same kind of smell to it now if you guys notice one weekend it has the exact same look that it had the first day and I might have cutting it just a little bit I mean literally just a mere little bit my mom's like are you gonna cut it up in a bob and I was like no this is human hair I feel like I need to wear it at the full length that it was sent to me because again this is human hair the one thing it has done it is has shed quite a bit over the last week and what I mean is Monday Tuesday Wednesday was main days that it shed I had all week meetings this week this was our big kind of get together and my team and we had meetings and throughout the meetings I kind of fidget sometimes like I'll swivel in my chair at work and then sometimes I'll play with my hair especially with this hair I've wanted to play with this hair more than ever just because it is soft it is human hair and you kind of want to have your hands in it so I fidget a lot during meetings and so I found myself kind of just rubbing my fingers through it and then I would rub my fingers through it and some hair would come out and I'd be like oh okay so this hair is shedding a little bit I haven't really had a huge problem with shedding in probably my last what 10 hairs and in a while it's been a while I think that Janet Collection Perm Peruvian would might have been the last hair that I actually had a problem with a little bit of shedding with other than that shedding has not really been a problem with my crochet hair until now uh, it does have a very I wouldn't say heavy shedding problem but Monday Tuesday Wednesday it definitely was shedding a lot and this later part of the week hasn't had that much shedding problem so I can put my fingers through right now and it's not much coming out probably already pulled out all that was going to come out but again I think that first couple of days you're going to have to kind of deal with a little bit of a shedding problem another thing that's kind of taken some adjusting for me is the thinness of this hair this hair is very very thin if you guys follow me you guys know I love big hair I love voluptuous I love ba 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 boom and this has been the thinnest hair ever like I touch right here I'm touching my scalp I'm touching my braids and I'm not used to this this would be a perfect summer hair for somebody because it is very lightweight it's very thin it's breathable it's the most breathable hair that I've tried on this channel again as it should be because it is a human hair and it's a very thinner human hair but it has taken me some adjusting to to get used to the fact that it is a very thin hair so I just need you guys to be aware of that the last thing I wanted to touch on as well is the overall maintenance of this hair and my nighttime routine with this hair I've done nothing in terms of maintenance meaning I mean I just kind of wake up in the morning I go to sleep like this I pineapple my hair so I mean pull my hair up Put a scrunchie around it, put my bonnet on, wake up in the morning, take the bonnet off, kind of do, 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 and then I head out the door. That's it. That's pretty much simple. That's what I do with my synthetic hair crochet hair, and why would I not do it with the human hair crochet hair? It didn't require much more than that. So I haven't put any products in this hair, haven't done anything other than what I just showed you. I have brushed it a little bit. I take a very gentle hand when I'm brushing it though. Like I, I don't brush it like I would regular hair just because it pulls at the elastic a little bit. So I just gently brush it sometimes in the morning and now I'm out the door. Again, not a single drop of product has has touched this hair but overall that's my first week thoughts of this hair I really have enjoyed it over the course of this week I assumed I would enjoy it I don't think this hair is going to do much of anything terrible just because it is a human hair there is some variability in synthetic hair how it reacts that's why it's funner to review synthetic hairs out there because you don't know what you won't get with it with the human hair you kind of know what you're gonna get unless something magically goes terribly wrong I don't think this hair is going to go bad so I don't think human hair Hair has the same level of going downhill that a synthetic hair could but again I will share that with you guys in my final thoughts coming up right now later so now coming on here for my final thoughts on this naked crochet human hair loose deep 16 inches as you can see from the signage it has been four weeks with this hair I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions all that money for four weeks of wear you should have been able to wear it long 
Now I decided to stop right here on the stupidest face ever just because I made a boo-boo. I actually wore this hair for five weeks. I don't know why I didn't realize it, but when I was uploading the clips, I realized the date that I installed this hair versus the date that I was filming my final thoughts. And I was like, hold on, wait, can you not count, girl? It has been five complete weeks. I did not realize how long October was and all that. So I apologize. It was five weeks that I wore this hair in total start to finish. Uh, my birthday is in two weeks and this isn't gonna be my birthday hair now next weekend I'm gonna get my 30 balloons and I'm gonna have some photos taken and I don't want this to be the hair and said photos if that makes sense so would you be able to wear it longer absolutely it's human hair this isn't the synthetic hairs that I review all the time where it's important kind of with the weak designations and how long I was able to wear it is very much so important with this is it's human hair like a hundred percent human hair so it's going to react like bundles. Have you ever had a sew-in? With my sew-in, I used to wear them for three months. It's the same principle with a little bit of caveat that I will talk about in this video. Now I had my whole outline of how I was gonna kind of do this video, but I uploaded my install video this week and I actually got some questions. Now this portion of the video is going to be very long, but I'm also very thorough. You guys who watch me know how thorough I am. I want to leave at the end of this video with not a lot of questions in the comments section. There's shouldn't be any because I feel like I'm going to address everything I need to address in this portion and if I don't of course leave those questions down below now I got a lot of questions in my install video I got a lot of feedback from people and I'll put the comments on the side remove the rubber band and split the hair in two when installing loop the hair several times um, I'm assuming loop the hair several times that's what they mean I don't think I showed you guys really really well what this loop looks like this is what the rubber band looks like a lot of people I got a lot of comments that it's easy to remove this easy wear I, I think you guys think this is like a pop-off situation this rubber band is not you could pull for I'm pulling at the tightest strength that I can this rubber band isn't something that's just easily do to do removed so a lot of people said what will happen if you cut the rubber band I will show you what happens when you cut the rubber band the rubber band's gone how do you put the hair in I know I got a comment from a hairstylist usually you have the option of removing the elastic band from the hair then you're able to invisible knot method now this again is what happens so this is the hair. How do you install, how do you get this in your, this isn't easily, I guess, installable. So I'm guessing you mean like split the hair like this. Split. So you're saying split the hair in two. So I'm assuming also remove this little node at the top because at the top there is this little node when you remove the rubber band. So you split that. And then you split the hair in two, I'm assuming. You mean like this, right? So you have these kind of ends like this. So of course you're gonna have to double the hair to install it. Then you're left with these little pieces. So I mean, I guess you're meaning install it like this. This is not easily installed. This side is soft. As you pull through it, it's going to be very soft. This is not going in your head. Like you cannot install the hair like this and have it stay. You would have to glue it. You have to put nail glue. You'd have to put hot glue, something in here to hold this together because this it's too silky. It's the reason why you can't just cut regular bundles hair and it be crochet hair. This is too soft. It's not staying. Crochet hair is made in a specific fashion. The synthetic hair is made in a specific fashion that it holds, but Brazilian hair does not. You know, your bundles do not. Bundle hair does not. I also got a question. Why can't you cut the elastic band after it's been put in your hair? And let's see what happens if you cut the elastic band. So this is, say this is a strand right here. This is an elastic band, so cut it. I mean, then it's out your head. Like the elastic band is what attaches to your scalp, if that makes sense. So you, you cut the elastic band, you, you're cutting it essentially out of your head. So I just wanted to make that point real quick. A lot of people were, were questioning why I even leave that elastic band on. It's a necessity to hold the hair together. And so I'll address some other questions I got in that install video as well throughout this video, but now I'm gonna flow like I do my normal videos. I know I said in my first thoughts that the shedding has stopped. 
um, the shedding actually has not stopped. I don't know what was going on that first week. I guess I wasn't brushing it as much, but the shedding with this hair has not stopped since day one. My bathroom floors will be happy that I'm finally taking this hair out because it has been an every morning sweeping situation. This hair sheds a lot of shedding, has not stopped shedding. Surprised that I even still have hair in my head with the amount of strands that come out with the brushing of this hair. So this hair definitely, definitely continues to shed and has continued to shed over the course of these last four weeks. No products were used on this hair in terms of using products on this hair. I mean, no Hawaiian Silky because this is human hair. Everything that I say in my synthetic videos gets thrown out the window on this. A lot of people have been asking me, do you put mousse in this hair? This is human hair. This is not in the same category as synthetic hair. So no, you don't have to put products in this hair. This isn't a products heavy hair. I also got a lot of questions about can I film a takedown video in my video. Now, I mean, the takedown would be a pretty uneventful video. I mean, it'd be torture to watch me take this hair down, quite honestly. I just want to sit in front of my TV, watch some Netflix, and take this hair down. But it's going to be a process. No, it's not going to be easy. A lot of people are like, is it going to be easy or no? What's easy is me taking out my synthetic hair. When I take out my synthetic hair, this is what happens. Snip snip i take i cut it there is no regard for anything i am cutting i have a takedown video you guys have asked me to do a redo of a takedown video that video still holds true even though that's my second video on this channel so it's old it's dated and all that that process is still the process i do take the scissors i snip i go about my day with this yes i'm going to have to be a lot more meticulous to reuse this hair to take it out what i have to do is of course and then pull it out. So I have to pull this out and do this for every single hair. It's a process to take this hair out. So it would be literal torture for me to sit on front of the camera and take this hair out for you guys. That's what I'm gonna have to do for every single one. I'm gonna probably have to watch a three hour movie and sit in front of my TV and do this. So the uninstall of this hair is not an easy and fun process. It's going to take a process to take this hair out. But I got a lot of questions. Once you take it out, can it be reused? Absolutely, I mean, it's still the human hair. It's just like when you take out wefts do you reuse your tracks I used to reuse my tracks because my stylist used to install my hair where she would layer the hair instead of cutting the track so that I could reuse my track it's the same thing these bundles are the same thing as human hair so I got a lot of questions oh is it worth it can you reuse the hair yes if you're meticulous and you actually save it and uninstall it in the way that I just kind of showed you you're gonna have to kind of work to uninstall this hair it's not gonna be an easy hair to uninstall now if you go through and you cut everything no you can't reuse the hair the hair is pretty much null and void if I were to cut it like I do my synthetic hair then no it's a moot point you have got to be meticulous about the takedown of this hair if you follow me on Instagram or follow me on anything you've seen in real life I've been a hat wearer for the last two weeks I have been wearing hats I have been wearing little bands like this because at this point you can see all of my knots my hair has grown which again love the fact that my hair grows in crochet hair it is not where it used to be how my hair used to be in that first day thoughts is not how my hair is today again another reason why I'm taking this hair out my hair grows it grows under crochet hair and it's growing super fast with this and the fact that it looks crazy if I take this off if I take this off you can see every single single one every single hair you can see so I've been wearing this to work. I've been wearing hats out in public. Just went to my homecoming the other weekend. Was hatting it up. I had hats on. I was a hat girl. This hair, for the way I installed it, and all my thoughts are gonna come out of a vein of how I installed this hair. I'll go into a little bit later how they suggest you install this hair, but how I installed this hair, and trying to attempt the beauty can braid method, and failing in some departments, and succeeding in others. This is where my standpoint and my thought process comes from this is another reason why I'm taking this hair out at four weeks my hair is grown this doesn't look cute to me I'm not you know that proud of how my hair looks I'm somebody who likes to feel proudness in my hair and I'm not gonna walk around with the hair that is not looking cute to me so as I am filming this video this hair is still not exactly out now I got an email the original email to try this hair I look back at it came in April of 2019 as we sit here in November, uh, they sent me an email this Monday. So as I'm recording this, this prior Monday, I got an email saying, happy Veterans Day. Monday was Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day. Um, the hair will come out later this week. As I'm recording right now, this hair is still not out. 
so hopefully as i'm uploading it i will be able to link down below this exact hair so you can kind of see the price point of it and everything that comes with it what i will link down below if it's not out is the wet and wavy version that i linked in my install video i linked it in my install video and said in the you know note hey this is not the exact version i have the wet and wavy version has a little stamp somewhere on here that says wet and wavy mine does not have that so this is not the wet and wavy style i think the wet and wavy style is you get it wet and it scrunches up or it does something this is not the wet and wavy version of it it's just the regular i guess version of it so as i'm recording this don't have the exact price point but the price point for the wet and wavy is 29.99 for 10 inches and then the price increases based on the inches so for my length which is 16 inches is 57.99 a pack so for the six packs that i used in my head it would be 300 dollars. and i know i said in my install video you might not need six packs you might be getting away with five i think you 100 percent need six packs i looked in the mirror after i installed it there were some places in the back where i needed to move around here to make it more fuller so i think you 100 percent if you install it the way i installed it again the way i installed it no leave out i think you would need at least six packs to complete the style and this is not to leave being extra as i typically am you guys know i'm being extra i really think with how thin this hair is you're not going to get away with anything less than six packs point blank period so again that's the price point for wet and wavy i'm a hundred percent sure the price is going to be the exact same for this version maybe two dollars cheaper i'll say i'll be generous and say maybe it's two dollars cheaper but i cannot see this price point being that dramatically different so for a 10 inch you're going to start at 29.99 for my length one pack is 57.99 it's expensive i recognize that it is very expensive and i hope what i'm saying throughout this video is formulating a kind of an opinion for you guys out there i'm telling you guys my experience with this hair and i'm telling you how i feel about this hair but again for this price point you would have to make your own decision about whether you recommend i'm not going to tell anybody to run out and spend 57 dollars when i also come on this channel with the last hair i tried being 5.99 a pack and that being my favorite hair today you see what i'm saying it just doesn't make sense for me to say and now this $57 hair pack this is a great hair you know I, this hasn't been my favorite hair and I haven't had the same response as I had with a $5.99 hair also I got a question in my install video would you consider applying this hair with leave out leaving some of your hair out for this install and quite honestly that's kind of what the sites recommend for this hair for this hair looking at the wet and wavy style and their saga hair which they recommended step one is to braid your cornrows leaving some of your natural hair out using the crochet hook pull the naked crochet through the braid stretch the band to pull the loop through and then close the loop part your hair and blend to create a natural look and step four part your hair and blend to create a natural looking part so putting you know that flat iron that they have going through it through this hair now my response to that is a twofold one this hair only comes in one color i got a lot of questions does it come in multiple colors no because when you buy bundles you know you, you don't get colorful bundles a lot of times you have to dye your own bundles bundles typically come in one color and it's that natural color that looks like that this hair is the exact same way so it comes in one color which is natural you guys know my hair up under this looks like this i'm inserting a picture of what color my hair is so one i would have to dye this hair so on top of this hair being 57 dollars a pack i would have to dye that hair to match my natural hair because i'm not going back to black you know I'm, I'm, I'm cool with my hair being what color it is when they first reached out to me i might could have gotten away with doing some leave out because when they reached out to me in april my hair was you know black now as we sit in november months later my hair is no longer black so one i would have to color this hair for me to be able to leave some hair out two i would have to do what this picture says and i would have to put heat to my head you guys know i don't do heat to my hair i'm not a heat person i've given up heat i do heat to my hair one time a year and when i say heat i mean flat iron you guys ask me do i use a blow dryer yes i use a blow dryer but i do not put flat iron heat i do not put wand curls i do not put curls in my hair i only put heat on my hair direct heat flat iron where my hair straight once a year so leaving my hair out feasibly wouldn't be possible now if you're somebody who one your hair is already kind of this color and two you don't mind putting heat in your hair then yeah leave hair out that's totally fine do what the instructions tell you this is what shake and go is advising their people who try this hair to do again you use a lot less packs of this hair because again the perimeter of your hair is out and you don't have the issues that i'm running into where my knots are visible where i'm feeling self-conscious that people can see my knots you won't run into 
any of those issues if you leave hair out. Again, that was never an option for me. Is this active wear friendly? Is this water friendly? Again, this doesn't fit the same parameters as synthetic hair. Is it active wear friendly? Yeah, of course it is. It's human hair. Is it water friendly? I mean, not in the format that I have it right now. I wouldn't swim in this hair. I won't even wash this hair. I have not washed this hair. I've gotten it wet. It's gotten wet in terms of it just braiding outside and this hair getting wet and it reacts just like any other hair does when it gets wet. Actually, it's been kind of wet recently. That's why I didn't curl it. I haven't curled it recently just because it got wet and this is kind of what it is giving you. I, it's a little bit harder to kind of run your fingers through it when it does get wet and you don't do anything about it. I say if they, you install it in the way they suggest you install it, it might be a little harder too because then you would have to deal with the element of your real hair and then also the crochet hair getting wet but I think it's active friendly definitely think you can work out in it water friendly yes the hair itself is water friendly what you have to do after you get it wet is a whole nother situation but the hair can this hair physically get wet and respond well yes it is human hair it's going to respond well it's not set up in the same category as synthetic hair so just to answer a couple more questions I got on my install video. Oh, I like it, but the way the price tag is set up, LOL, they did a laughing emoji. Can you please find a dupe that is budget friendly, okay? I have tried a couple of hairs on this channel that are duped to how it looked on that first day. If you look at my first day thoughts of it, just rewind back, look at the first day thoughts. Looks just like Model Model Beach Curl. Looks just like Model Model Valley Wave. Those are two hairs that look just like it. Is it the same feel? No, no hair is going to feel like human hair. I'm not going to be able to find a dupe to human hair. I'm gonna find a visual dupe a hair that physically looks like it but to find a hair that performs like this it's no comparison synthetic hair is never going to perform like human hair because human hair is human hair but a hair that visually is a dupe to that hair I think those two hairs are very much so visibly dupes to the hair as it was in its natural state now as you curl it as I do, as it looks today it looks completely different just because I've curled it I've done everything with it this hair has been through the ringer over the last four weeks there's nothing that looks like this now I mean this isn't even really a curl pattern this is just a I had some curls the other day they've kind of grown out I've brushed them out and this is kind of what's left so this isn't even really a style per se but the way the hair is naturally I definitely think the model model hairs really do a good job of being a dupe of this so another question I got um, can it be flat ironed and curled back up when wet this hair doesn't curl when wet this isn't the wet and wavy version of it I'm assuming the wet and wavy version can perform that way this isn't wet and wavy if I got this hair wet it will perform just like if I was to run water over this hair this is the hair in its natural state or in a state that it performs in so if I run water on it it's just gonna be wet this like like I just went to the kitchen sink very quickly and wet this hair this is what this hair is wet unless you get a wet and wavy I used to always get this is an old bundle of mine that I used to have I used to always get the already straight hair so this hair is the same way it'll just be this wet so it's not a wet and wavy hair if that makes sense so no it will just be wet hair and then you can blow dry it and then you style it as you normally would and again I hope this video answered every single question you can have I know this part has been long but I was just wanting to be very thorough and as thorough as I can be with with human hair now after everything I said do I recommend this hair I think that this is a okay hair um, for people out there who may have an aversion to synthetic hair who want to try human hair who want to try crochet hair and it be human hair I think for it being $57 for the length that I have I cannot justify me personally spending $57 on this I'm good with my synthetic hair I again don't have an aversion to synthetic hair I love experimenting and trying synthetic crochet crochet hair that's where I jam at I don't have any issues with the fact that I can't flat iron my my soft dread I actually like the fact that you know it stays consistent well I just recently went traveling on a trip I did not expect to travel with this hair but I, I randomly got called to a work trip in Tennessee and if you watch my vlog on that I didn't bring a brush and it's because I don't ever bring brushes when I travel because with crochet hair I don't brush the hair if you saw my crochet encyclopedia video you know I don't necessarily need brushes with any of my crochet hair so I don't mind my synthetic hair I love trying my synthetic hair and my synthetic hair has never led me astray so for me to justify spending $57 I personally can't so for me with the price tag I would not buy this hair for what I've gone through with the the shredding on the floor with having to maintain it to not feeling great about the knots with everything I've kind of experienced and talked about over these last four weeks no it, it's not my go-to but for you guys out there you make your own opinions again this is Talia's version this is Talia's opinion you guys out there make up your opinion for yourself if 
you enjoyed this video you thought i was very thorough you liked everything you saw make sure you give this video a big thumbs up even if you don't feel any of that way please give this video a big thumbs up we want all the love and support over here make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of this good content make sure you're following me on instagram at leahlevon89 and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye Back it up the way you bust in